Miss Lapalot here, coming at you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Hey, you know what? I'm just sitting here thinking about my appointment um, yesterday with my dietitian, and you know what? I'm so freaking confused. You know because I hear all of these different views, right? But anyway, I found this really interesting. Even though I told her um, my numbers, you know, even though I don't trust all the numbers all the time, I think it's just whatever it's just numbers but I clearly told her um well when I eat carbs you know my my numbers go right up like it's the, like the the numbers like you say numbers don't lie right so hmm anyway um I said and I said well when I eat more fat I feel better right I, and I, I feel better right you know protein you know more fat than than protein um, and, and a lot of times I do more protein because I just, like, yesterday I had, like, four burgers for breakfast, right? Um, lathered on the, I've got the pork fat, right? So I just put the pork fat on there and, and, and then I'll eat a teaspoon of butter, right? Anyway, I'm just sitting in my car, <laughs> which has inspired me. I know I'm going all over the place, but, um... I'm looking at my face and I'm like, oh my God, my skin looks freaking amazing. <laughs> uh, eating all these fatty meats and, and, and um, of course, there's other reasons too why my skin looks so great. But uh, if you compare me, like, oh my God. Um, when I was down to about 80 pounds, you know, my skin, I was horrified at how my skin degraded. It was awful I was like I felt like an 80 year old woman my skin I'm like holy fuck like what the hell what is going on but now it's not like that yeah it's pretty remarkable so eat the fatty meat baby eat the fatty meat and I'm trying to turn this camera around so you can see my face but anyway uh next time make it a great fucking day okay remember eat the fatty meat Right? Do what you want, right? But that's just what I did, and I can actually physically see, and you can actually see proof on, on all the videos if you check out my videos, right? In October, when I was like 80 pounds, right? Something like that, 84, whatever. But um, now I'm, I'm, I'm 115, and this feels great. And it's weird because I feel fucking huge. <laughs> Like I say, the running joke was like, <laughs> at the time when I was so skinny, I was like, fuck, like somebody can fart and I'll fucking fall over, man. <laughs> um, literally, I'm not even kidding, you know, a breeze, like put the heater, come on, like, oh my, it, anyway, it, it was just my core, uh, I could barely walk, right? <laughs> fuck. Anyway, not this isn't a victim story. I'm just fucking telling you what happened. Like, holy shit. Anyway, this is Miss Laugh-A-Lot coming at you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. If you're interested in getting into my anthology, Food as an Advisor, jump in, man. I've got like 19 spaces left. Are you going to jump in? Tell you a story about how food affected you, how did, maybe it changed your career. Uh, uh, maybe it, it, you had to make a drastic change in your, your, your diet because you had some disease, right? And, and, and you change it, you reversed it, right? I want stories like these, right? Stories of hope that we can pass down to our grandchildren, okay? Have a great life, sweetie.